Okay, this is where I started. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to my crew. Uh, yeah, I'll start with Joker. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I just don't know if I could have done it. Yeah, there is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry. I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. That makes sense. Okay, so what happened was I got to this point previously and I was like, I'm not sure if I actually talked to the council or not. Like maybe it didn't save. I thought I had. And I'm like, I'll just check the galaxy map. And then it put me on rails for the next part of the plot. And I'm like, but, but I want to talk to my crew. So anyways, I restarted, and now I'm going to talk to my crew. We're so close now. When we deliver everything, the Council will have to mobilize around us. It would be a fitting tribute to Ash if we were able to rally everyone together under the Council. I don't know. They haven't shown any interest in listening to us so far. We've got the weight of evidence on our side. You'll convince them. From a Navy brat to linchpin of the Alliance. I don't think I've ever met a woman like you. You haven't had the easiest life, but I like the man it's made of you. Please, Commander, you'll make me blush. No, Bull Shepard. I want to follow through with this. It's tough keeping it separated from duty. But when the mission's complete, it'll be different. At least I hope so. Ma'am. I hear you, soldier. I'm in agreement. Glad to hear it, ma'am. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years. But never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on a coups? Hmm. Interesting. Uh... I didn't stop and agonize over it while everyone else was in danger. We've got work to do, Elenko. We'll remember her later. You're right. I can't let this get to me. Not now, anyway. Hmm. Thanks for the advice, ma'am. Not sure about that. That was actually the the exact wording of the response I was hoping for, but it'll do. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them, or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. <laughs> They're old already. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. <laughs> Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Fine. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Okay. Oh, no new stuff. Right, let's talk to Liara. Actually, I wonder if the doctor has anything new Joker did. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Nope. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Hey, Liara. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Yeah, I feel like this is always our conversation. I guess if you don't romance Liara, you just don't really get much more You're than this. You're in good this. hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. 
I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Oh, ma no, maybe there is new. Okay, it just always starts the same way, which is a little odd. He's the last person I'd feel sorry for. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? There's nothing noble about Saren or what he did. He got exactly what he deserved. Yes, I suppose you're right. I should not waste sympathy on Saren. Not when there are so many others who have suffered because of him. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I'm not sleeping well. The visions keep me up at night. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to be at your best, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. Hmm. I wonder what this is supposed to mean. Oh, I'll just say. I've got broad shoulders. I have no doubt about that. But can they carry the weight of an entire galaxy? If we don't stop Saren... No, never mind. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> well, having kind of essentially done both now, I can say I definitely prefer the Liara romance. I mean, Kain's fine, but that's kind of the problem. Like, he's just fine. I don't know. I, I guess I just don't feel like the writing makes him particularly compelling as a romantic interest compared to... Oh, shoot. I went the wrong way. I need to take the elevator. Uh, compared to Liara. So, oh well. But, you know, I hadn't done it before, and now I'm seeing it. So, sure. Okay, let's talk to actually ooh, let's talk to the requisitions. Looking officer. for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Ooh, that's gonna be better than the one I have by out of camp. Uh I mean sure. On the other hand, I can afford everything, so it's kind of like, why not buy all the things that have X next to their name? Yeah, why, why not? Why not, indeed. I still have a gazillion dollars. Holy cow. Okay. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Thank you, Garrus. I'll keep that in mind. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do catch him. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? I feel like that conversation would have made more sense before we were like, oh, by the way, Saren is on Ilos. Anyways. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. I mean, honestly, in this case, I kind of agree with Garrus. <laughs> sure. I'm glad you see it that way. 
I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, ma'am. Like that's a little bit more renegade-y than I usually take. Oh, look, there's no one here. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Rex. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Hey! Uh, it's Captain... Oh, it's Captain... It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. She knew what the risks were. Any of my officers would have done the same. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. What? The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> Talk to Tali, and then I'll uh, maybe even call this session there. Just have it be short, so then I can do the like inventory. Feels like we're near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people. I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot. Hey, And it Katie's. says something about you. Go away, Kane. Whatever she happens, want to be your friend. I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Oh my goodness, Kane. Alright, well I'm gonna call it here.